<coughs> Again, here I am, JB Bushcraft, having technical difficulties, trying to do a video. What the hell? Okay, here we are. What you want to do is get a Sharpie. You want to take a candle and you want to put it around, draw a line around the candle. Then you want to plot out holes like that. You want to drill them out with a drill bit. And then you want to cut them out with a razor knife, staying away from the lines. Then you want to take You want to take your Dremel rotary tool with a drum attachment and you want to sand clean so your candle will now slip down inside. Then you want to take your pliers and crimp around that. I used the cap off of this as a height thing with my Sharpie marker. I'm not going to redo this all over again. I already did it and the tape, the original tape got ruined. The other thing you need to do is you need to heat up the plastic around this Dollar Tree, uh, like a, it's a bottle that you take like shampoo in or whatever. You just want to heat that up to it just a little soft then you want to make that candle's got to fit right in there perfect without binding once you get it fairly decent then you want to take your dremel and you want to grind it more from the inside until it's slides right in like this one now what I've done you put your marker on there your sharpie trace it around cut it grind off the rough edges I did have some JB quick on there but I had this dried now but I was having my problems with the video. I found that this one, you don't even need to glue it. Just, you can just turn it, it'll go in there. Doesn't need to be glued in. Now the next thing you want to do, after you've done that, you want to take a pair of 10 snaps, Everything that comes with the lantern, you don't need the wicks, you don't need this part. You do, however, you do want to save this. What you do with that is you take your tin snaps and you cut all the way around. You start, get a stack, just trim that away. Trim it as close as you can. And then when you're done with the final trim, you can sand it down with the with the Dremel tool, make it smooth.
Come on. Why is everything giving me difficulties tonight and I, when I'm trying to film? Yeah, just take your demo. This is ridiculous. doing this to me tonight a couple nights ago I did this like no problems just when you want to show somebody something it's when it frigs up on you to do it fast, it fins up on you. That's good, good enough. You take this piece and you put it back where it's supposed to be in that little groove right there. And you put your candle in. You slide the candle all the way to the bottom of the tank. And you take this piece and you flip it back up over the candle. And you take some of that JB Quick, just a couple, just a little draw. You take that, you put that on the rim, the ridge on the bottom of the can. This piece here is going to be your, what's going to catch all your dripping wax. Then you want to put this on there, and I would let it set a few minutes. Give it time to dry. 
and then when it does dry you want to maybe push this these in a little bit so that the glass will slide over it but it's very I mean as far as that's gonna dry and stuff but it's pretty much ready now to light Yeah, you gotta let that dry first before you put this on, because that just moved. Yep, let that dry first. Let the JB Weld, the, I mean, JB Quick dry. Just let me come right back. I've already got one made. It's the same design, same thing. This is a little flashing, that piece of flashing I cut in for a reflector. You could probably get away with using a beer can or something. But here's one that I made a night or two ago. Same thing. There's your candle wax catcher your piece here I trimmed on that is there you put this thing back in and it snaps in pretty you just gotta tweak it and it will snap in there yeah five hours each candle one pack 30 hours one for one box of candles you got 30 hours in one lantern that's the J.B. Bushcraft Candle Lantern Hack with KFC Lamps.